children of slaves. Christopher Columbus came to our islands and called our people Indians, being lost and confused. He thought he was an Indian. the story. He raped, tortured, murdered, killed our indigenous people, thinking he wiped them off, but he did not. He used them to take away all their gold. He tortured them to find out where he could get more gold. It was the money of that time to bring back to Spain. A lot of the people were eaten by dogs. They had to feed the dogs. So they gave them the meat of our ancestors. And after doing all this horrible thing to our indigenous people, our Daino people still live today. We still have their blood pumping through our veins. After all this, in the early 1500s, he decides that he needs more work. There's more gold in the islands. Cristobal Colón needed more workers for the mines of gold. So he went back to Queen Isabella and asked her permission get slaves at West Africa and bring the slaves to Puerto Rico to work the mines of gold. Queen Isabella granted him permission to start kidnapping and taking human lives aboard ships and starting the slave trade with the permission of Queen Isabella. The trade of African, of human beings, of lives. It was a triangle from Spain to West Africa to the Caribbean. A triangle which was kidnapping, taking slaves aboard ships and bringing them to the islands to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico became a place to get gold, gold mines. African slavery was booming at this time in the early 1500s. But then after all the gold is gone, Puerto Rico becomes a garrison where all the, sl uh, all the slave ships will travel to ever and ship out human lives, slaves. In 400 years, approximately 15 million slaves had traveled through this triangle of slavery through our island, Puerto Rico. We are still hurt. We are still in pain. In 1898, the Spanish-American War, Puerto Rico now becomes territory of the United States. We think we're free, but we're not free. We're colonized. We slaves all over again. Just think about it. They gave a little to Puerto Rico, but they took a lot from Puerto Rico. Today Puerto Rico is still suffering. We are still slaves. This is the sad story of our people, of our Indian people and our African people. Stand up, Indian. Stand up, Negro. Together we can win and be free someday.
Libertad, libertad, libertad.